All right, let's pick up on table tennis now. Jan Overvoldner is a Swedish former table tennis player. He competed in five Olympics, winning the gold in the singles event in 1992. And of course, as we reported earlier, China's Fang Zhendong beat Sweden's Truls Morgod earlier on Sunday. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Jan Uva. You must have watched this game with so much interest because, of course, you've got to this yeah. point in Olympics as well, facing uh, Chinese players each time one win one you ca you got the silver at one point your countryman was ahead what do you think gave fan the winning edge today yeah i think it was a really great match from uh, Truls and uh, everyone in sweden are so happy for his uh, for his tournament he was playing fantastic all the tournament he beat Wang the string and then in the final with the uh, with fan shedong who is the uh, so strong mentally and also very powerful in the game. It was, I think, the chance was for Truss that it should be up to one in sets. After one, two, it was difficult to come back. All right. Talk to me about uh, a little bit more about Morigod because him reaching the finals is quite an achievement. In fact, no Swede has done that uh, since 2000 when you claimed silver, and of course before that in 1992 when you won gold. The Chinese are brilliant at table tennis. What do you make of Morogod's performance? Um, and what does it take to beat the Chinese? Yeah, he showed that he could beat Vashi Queen, who is also the number one ranked in the world. So, I mean, to beat two Chinese, number, from the two best Chinese now in the, in the same tournament, it's very difficult. But like I said before, you need a, lot, a little bit of luck and also play on his level, but I think his best level, and I think in the final he played a really fantastic match. I think for table tennis, it was also a fantastic match. But the deserve a win for Fan Shedong. He's a great player. Talk to me a little bit more about table tennis in China. They take it incredibly seriously. It's the national sport. What can other countries learn from China? Is it the coaching techniques? Is it the government support for the game? I think it's a mix from all. You know, we. In Sweden, we have only 10,000 table tennis players, and in China, they have 30 million or something who is playing. So it's difficult to compete with them. But you can also now see in the, in the rest of the world that it's many new places coming up, like uh, Ledun, who was coming to number three. He's only 17 years old. So I think, and he's from Europe also. So it was two European players in the top three now in, in Olympics. So it's a fantastic result for Europe and also fantastic tournament in France, in Paris, and it was really great that Le Bum was also making medal life from, from the French team. Do you think that table tennis is a growing sport? I'm thinking um, of, of your compatriot getting to these finals. Is it something that's going to spark more interest in table tennis, or is it actually a sport on the wane? I think we're on the way up again, because in all sports you need good competition, and this time we could give quite good competition with the Chinese. The problem was before, always the Chinese was always too strong the last five, six, seven years. It was, they had no one to really have a big matches with. But now we show that not only through Smellegor, that we have also some other players who was coming up. And I think it was a perfect uh, Olympic Games for table tennis, completely full all the time. It was nearly the same like playing China. This is probably the best. Uh, country to play table tennis in, but in France was fantastic now, so I'm very happy for the sport. And I think all the, many other sportsmen was coming to watch our sport, so I think this is a big thing for us now. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us. Yeah. It really is an honor to speak to Jan Overvoldner. He's, he's a Swedish yeah, sure. former table tennis champ. He has won at the Olympics two medals, in fact.